Hey guys, um, I want to share with you today my Amazon toy haul. I just received this about half an hour ago. Uh, I ordered four things, but two out of the four things are like um, the same. Well, not the exact same item, but in the same line of dolls. Um, I'll start off with this Monster High uh, RuPaul Dragon Queen doll. And I, ha I had to pick her up because she, she's so awesome looking. I mean, I love dragons and I like gothic things. I never watched RuPaul's Drag Race, so that's not why I, I got her. I just liked, you know, her, how the way she looked, that she was like a, a gothic dragon and she was black. And I love the packaging. There's like a moon in the background. And then it says Monster High over here on, on the bottom, the Monster High logo. And she's wearing these like dragon scale black knee-high boots. And the cool um, wings and I love her headpiece and her makeup is really good too and I like her uh, red like choker or uh, necklace so and let me see and then the box has like dragon scales on the side and then it says RuPaul uh, Dragon Queen on there and then there's also a cool picture on the back of the box too she was uh, fifty-five dollars, which I didn't think was too bad, because a lot of the collector dolls, the one that I, the other doll before this one, the last doll that I wanted a lot before this one, the last collector's doll, I mean, was um, the vampire, was it the Dracula, Draculaura vampire heart, and I think she was like ninety-nine, ninety-nine when she first came out, and this RuPaul one was only fifty-five dollars, so I thought that was, I mean, it wasn't really inexpensive because I think it still was a little overpriced I think it should have been forty five dollars instead of fifty five but compared to some of these other collectible dolls it, w it was a decent decent price now that Monster High Draculaura doll the vampire heart one now I can't find her cheaper than like two hundred sixty something dollars last time I checked from like um, different resellers like through marketplace and Amazon or something so I don't think I'll ever, I'll ever get that vampire heart Draculaura doll, which which is a shame because I like that one even better than this RuPaul um, Dragon Queen doll. And then I wanted this Monster High Polly Pocket since it came out, and my Walmart. Um, what, last time I was at my Walmart, they didn't have it, so I just ordered it from Amazon. So I'm glad that Amazon had them in stock because, like I said, I usually don't buy any like toys from Amazon.com. I usually try to see if I can find them, you know, inside inside the stores first mostly at Walmart because I really don't shop at Target at all maybe I go to Target maybe twice a year and my Walmart my crappy Walmart here in Ohio they never have anything good they don't even have a lot of good Halloween selection year after year and they don't have other stuff whenever I'm looking for things so I wasn't surprised that I wasn't I didn't find it but yeah I'm so happy this is my first Polly Pocket that I have ever owned I have I never owned not even one single Polly Pocket like growing up or back in the early 90s or 90s or ever. So yeah, this is my first Polly Pocket. I, I, I they're really expensive. I was looking at the other ones I like at Walmart because I I almost like all of them at the ones that are available now at my local Walmart and they're super expensive for just some freaking plastic. They're way way overpriced. I think these Polly Pockets are are one of the most overpriced toys that there are. But I gave in to this one because this is Monster High, so I can't wait to open it and put it together. And then this is what the back looks like. It shows you how it is all set up. She has like a little pink couch there. And there's like a table. And there's a skateboard ramp right there. That I don't really care about, about the skateboarding ramp. But I like this part at the top the best. This, the Frankie Stein um, laboratory here. Uh, this door like there's a secret door and it opens up and there's a bunch of like potions and stuff on, on the shelf and then there's all the pieces that you get here and then what I w what was most excited to get believe it or not even more than that Dragon Queen um, doll, RuPaul doll were these Zombies uh, dolls these little ones because I, I have a few of them, but I don't have a lot of them, and I wanted more for a long time. And these are like blind boxes. You don't know which one you're going to get. So I already took the cardboard backing off of it just to save time, and, and not just that. I can't open it. I wouldn't be able to open it with one hand, that cardboard, because it was taped shut, and, and you really have to cut it open and stuff. But I didn't open the box. 
So let's see which one I got. There's only one that I that I don't like at all. There's a baseball one because I don't like baseball and I don't like sports, any sports at all. So I hope I don't get her. And this is the Zombies line, by the way, guys. I forgot to tell you. This is Series 2. They have Series 1 and this is Series 2. And in the Series 2, I only have one Zombie doll. And that's the Rockstar one where she's playing a guitar and she's sticking out her tongue. So I hope I don't get her either or the baseball one. The other ones I'll be fine with, but I hope I don't get the double of the rock star chick or the baseball one, which I don't want. So let's see which one I get. Is it, let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, the cardboard uh, top. There's a, the, the, there's a piece of coffin-shaped cardboard that you put over here after you open it. It goes on here. Let's see, they give you a sheet of stickers see which one this this one is you can tell by the stickers which which doll is in in the box oh this one looks like I like I like this one it's some kind of crown there's like a crown there maybe it's like a prom theme and there's a, a bouquet of roses and a letter and a lipstick and some makeup and a picture of oh yeah maybe it's like a the prom queen because this is looks like it's a picture of a, the, the prom king over here so yeah maybe it's a prom queen one and the and the packaging is really nice. Look at the tissue paper. It's like this purple with black stripes. Very nice tissue paper. I love the how, the detail in the packaging of these zombie dolls. Everything's so packed up so nice. And then here's a crown and a stand and some kind of piece of rubber. I don't know what that is. Like a like a rubber band or something. And then another piece. Oh, this is her skirt. And let's see. And then this inside here is is where the doll is actually at. This is supposed to look like a body bag, but it's purple. It's not black. And then it even opens up cool. You you there's a zipper on the body bag, just like a real body bag. And then you open it. You don't rip it or cut it. You open it. Oh, this ripped in my hand. See when I'm trying to do, open things with one hand, but it's supposed to be perforated over here, and you're supposed to be able to open it with that uh, tab on there. And see, there she is inside here. She looks really cute. I like her hair. Wow, her hair is like two different colors, almost like an ombre. It's like like a kind of like a salmon color on top and then it's blonde on the bottom and she has real eyelashes I don't know if you can tell but yeah her her eyelashes are real and I love her purple violet she has like violet eyes and her rosy cheeks and then she has purple high heeled shoes on and then you put her together over here you add the skirt on her the purple skirt like that and then you add the crown so yeah she's gonna be like a prom queen great I got one of the ones I like and then this on the bottom is just I don't know what it is some garbage and then this you yeah you're supposed to keep these and she goes back in a little cardboard coffin and I like um, what the coffin looks like inside it has like a black uh, bedspread on there with black pillowcases and it has a cracked mirror and some shelves on the wall and some more shelves on that side and on the bottom there's a heart right there so that's cute and then I like the side of the coffin too all around it looks like that Okay, let's see if I get lucky a second time and get one of the ones I want. Let's see over here. Okay, here's the stickers. So, like I said, you can tell what doll is going to be in here by the stickers. Oh, I got the baseball one, unfortunately. The one that I didn't want. I mean, her face is adorable. Her face is cute from the picture right there. That's her. But I don't like, like, because she's wearing a baseball outfit and I don't like the baseball that she's going to be holding. I mean, the baseball bat and stuff. Yeah, I knew I couldn't get lucky two times in a row. But that's what happens when you take a chance with these blind bags and these blind boxes. So, yeah, there's her 
baseball bat and then here's her baseball hat and her and her stand I don't know if I'm going to display her or not because I don't have a lot of room in my bedroom to, to display a lot of stuff so I might have to just like put her away and pack her up somewhere and then the coffin inside is just like that other one the same design all of these dolls all their coffins I think they're the same inside which is a shame I think they should have took the time and made every coffin different for every doll if not every coffin at least some of them at least half of them until they start to repeat them so yeah that's the only my complaint is that they're all the same inside and all the same on the side of the box too but I love this design right here it has like black wings on the side of this picture frame it's like heart shaped and it has bat wings over here on the side okay. Oh good, the tab didn't break off on this uh, packaging. I can barely get her out. Wow, she's really cute. I've seen her before. I've seen her online, so I already know what she, she's gonna. She would look like, because on Amazon.com you can see all the ones that you can get. And plus, Think Pink Days on here, Michelle, she has her. So I saw her in her video, too. But even before Michelle's video, before Think Pink Days video, I saw her, what she looks like online. I love her hair. I mean, purple is, like, my favorite color, and blue is one of my other favorite colors. And she kind of has, like, ombre hair, too. It goes from purple to lighter purple to blue. And then her outfit, her baseball outfit, is, like, like a baby blue like a light blue color and it's shiny it's like almost her top is like shiny almost like metallic her top not her legs her legs are matte but her her uh, torso her torso is like a metallic light blue and then she's wearing baseball socks and s sneakers baseball shoes and socks and then her eyes are purple they're not violet like the other doll this, this is like dark purple to match her hair and again she has real eyelashes So yeah, guys, at least I, the other one, I got lucky that I didn't get a double of the Rockstar Chick or a double of the baseball one, because then I would have wasted a lot of money on these. Um, I think they were on sale now on Amazon for the Series 2. I think they were almost $6 a piece, maybe like $5.99 or $5.98 or something or a piece right now for a seri each Series 2 Zombies uh, doll. So if you want to go check out Amazon on these I can't wait to put this one together this prom queen one and then they give you a checklist too and um, the one I w wanted the most I didn't get I think the one I want the most is this one the one with the parasol she's called she's shady because she's wearing you know she's holding up the parasol so she's shady is the one I wanted the most and I didn't get her and she's also wearing like sunglasses red sunglasses to match her red parasol and then there's this one, this uh, exercising one that they have in the collection. Here's the only other one that I have, this rock star chick. Her name is Rock in Pieces. <laughs> that, that's a good one, Rock in Pieces. And then there's the baseball one, how she looks like after you put her together. And then there's one called Glitter Bomb, another like musician, like another singer. And then here's the one I just got now, Miss Everlasting. She's called Miss Everlasting. And then this shopping one, Shop Till You Drop. Shop Till You Drop. I don't have her either. So I need one. Oh, there's another one, Love Struck. Uh, she has like a Cupid's bow and arrow through her head. And she's wear she's holding a box of chocolates, a box of pink, pink chocolates. She's one of my favorites too. I think that she's probably my second favorite, this uh, Love Struck one. So I need one, two, three four five more in series two i need five more i don't know if i'm going to buy any more because i don't want to risk getting doubles so we'll see if i'm going to get any more or not i don't know maybe i won't because I, I mean what am i going to do because i already got this one that i really didn't want even though i love her face and her hair 
I just don't like her her outfit and her th her baseball theme. So thanks, guys. Um, that's it that I have for for now. I know it's been a long, long time since I um, uploaded a, a video, so I thought I'd do one um, today. I don't know when I'm going to be going to Dollar Tree anymore because I'm not spending my money at Dollar Tree that much anymore. Because I mean, there's only so much notebooks and pen novelty pens and sticker not stickers but notebooks and pens that I need. And I want to buy other stuff like like toys and like dolls and other toys and stuff for, for now. Um, I don't know when I'm going to back, go back to Dollar Tree. Maybe at the end of August when they, or mid-August or the end of August when they have a lot, probably the end of August when they have a lot of Halloween decorations out. I know they start bringing Halloween decorations in the beginning of August, but they only have a couple stragglers here and there. But by the end of August, they're going to put out a lot more. So maybe I'll go back to Dollar Tree um, by the end of August sometime. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.